Welcome back to my studio. Today I am working on a new commission. This is for a client actually that I've done several paintings for. And Gina has asked me to do a painting of her vision of her dream cottage. Just a place that eventually one day she'd love to live and just have to escape to. So until that day that she can build this cottage, we're going to have it up on her wall, so anytime she wants to escape, she can just mentally take a magic carpet ride there and just sit on the porch of that cottage. There's going to be a couple of Adirondack chairs around a fire pit. Her two dogs are going to be playing in the front. I've uh, shown you at the very beginning a, the sketch that I presented to her for her approval before I began painting, and so you can see the basic plan. But now I am sketching my basic plan up on the canvas with an oil wash made of my mud, which is a deep purple that is mixed from two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part of alizarin crimson. And I mix a lot of liquid into that to make a real thin oil wash. And again, these are oil paints. And I just, I want to make sure that my drawing is correct before I ever begin painting. I have found over the years that if you have your drawing, if you spend the time at the beginning to get all of your drawing correct, whether it's an animal, the anatomy, people, anatomy, buildings, you want to get all the perspective correct. If you get all those problems solved before you begin painting, you're going to have a lot less headaches once you get going. So what I want to show you is how I determine where this central column is. The building is turned just a little bit, so we need to have it in perspective. So the first thing I did was, after I got my two outside columns drawn, is then I draw, drew a line here determining the edge of the porch. Then we also have the upper edge of this beam up here which had already been drawn in. Now what I've done is taken points at this corner of each column and then the corner down here where they meet the porch. And with a straight edge, this is actually my T-square, with the straight edge then, and using that thin liquid oil wash, I drew lines corner to corner. Then where those intersect in the middle, took my T-square, hooked it over the top of my canvas, and drop a line there, straight down. And that determines where the center point of this middle column is, because in perspective there's going to be less room between these two columns than these two columns. And that is the way to determine the middle point of, for this column that, so that it will be in perspective because you want your building to be, you know, perspective is very important when you're doing buildings, fences, any of that type of thing. And people may not understand craftsman architecture or whatever, but they can look at the building and say, hey, something's not right there. So you need to make it correct. And that's how you determine the center point on that column. That's a little trick that Jack taught me and it comes in very handy. There's no measuring. It's just very, very simple to do. So I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, visit my blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others I do. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my video. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments section and I will answer them. So you have a great day and happy painting.